Chapter 3 Way People West Virginia, Kenya said. This time her head was cradled in her hands, her elbows propped on the ledge of the esplanade on the roof of the Levy Student Center. They had retreated there among the gentle grassy slopes and cherry trees after the meeting with Dr. Quintella. Kenya stared west, past the business school, just below them, over the Potomac to where high-rises lifted to the sky on the Virginia side of the river. Audrey sat at her feet, her back against the same wall, her wrists resting on her knees, her hands dangling. We were supposed to go together, she said. I know, it almost seemed predestined. I remember that first day in Professor Murphy's Religions of the African Diaspora class, Kenya said. It was my first college class. I was so nervous. I got there 15 minutes early. I know, and I got there late. And the only empty seat was in front with nerds like me. <laughs> Audrey laughed. There were other seats, you know, but I chose yours because I was excited to sit next to a girl with natural hair. Really? You never told me that. You think I wanted to sit next to Jane Hoya for that class? Figures. Little did you know how bougie I was. <laughs> they both laughed. But Kenya felt the disappointment quickly settle into her chest again. I knew we would be friends, Audrey continued. You knew what my name meant. When Professor Murphy called it, you turned and said, As it pleased God. You remember? I do. And I remember your Jinyame necklace. I thought, whoa, this girl is really African. She's going to ace this shit. <laughs> Another laugh. Yeah, then you learned I was from Philly. We're all African, Kenya said. Audrey had no idea where her roots were, so she had adopted Ghana. She had awoken a dormant interest in all things diaspora in Kenya in the two years since, introducing her to Kofi Awuno, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, and Chinelo Okparanta. And together, they were to journey to Haiti to see the culture of the first country founded out of a slave revolt, to learn from the Haitians' resilience and bear witness to their suffering. Now, Audrey would be alone. Kenya watched as the crowd from the Black Lives Matter rally was dispersing, a sea of black t-shirts flowing down staircases and along walkways leading from Red Square. That solidarity, diluted in the majority white student body, the oblivious, biased majority. She thought of Trump and looked across the Potomac again, realizing that the shoreline in view was once a foreign country, one committed to the right to enslave people like herself, her friends, her family. She blinked back to the protesters, so many shirts. Their friend, the Rasta man, had done a good business. Good for him, she thought. She should have bought a shirt too. A bracelet was not enough. It all feels so damn present, Kenya said, looking again at the Virginia side of the Potomac and the state that had once been home to the capital of the Confederate States of America. West Virginia felt like a foreign country itself, like Idaho or Montana. These were places black people didn't really go. She rubbed her temple, a pressure band forming like a wire being twisted around her skull. Headache? Audrey asked, rising to her feet. Yeah, haven't been sleeping well. Still all those weird dreams? Yep. Audrey turned on the ball of her feet to consider the business school. Ever wonder if they know something we don't? The B school? Yeah, Audrey said, mirroring Kenya, adjusting the strap of her backpack and perching her elbows on the ledge. Maybe we're just being naive. Trying to make the world a better place, relying on the scraps we get from donors. Maybe we should just make our paper 
get in the room where it happens, and then direct the cash where we want it. Rewrite the rules from the top. Because the man will be so willing to let you do that? Shit, maybe I should have just gone pre-med like my rents. Still could. Doesn't hurt to have an undergrad in public health. I still don't like the science and math, though. I wouldn't have gotten through biostats one or two without you. Oh, that's true. You don't have to agree so readily. No, I do. <laughs> they shared a laugh while a pair of hospital types walked by, followed by two girls with lacrosse sticks headed to the playing fields. Kenya blew a stream of air out between her lips. <sighs> You're going to have a great time in Haiti, Audrey. You'll have to tell me all about it. Take lots of pictures. Sure, her friend said, putting her arm around Kenya. What about you? You going over there to the old confederacy? She said, nodding towards Virginia. Kenya snorted. Ugh, don't know. She said, for the first time looking at the manila folder in her hand. She opened it, flipping through the study proposal that, among other things, included a map of the town of Sela Station, West Virginia. It was perched at the confluence of the Shenandoah and Potomac Rivers, where the states of Maryland, West Virginia, and Virginia met. She could not bring herself to delve into the details. In her mind's eye, all she could see were pickup trucks with gun racks, Dairy Queens, stretch pants, and Make America Great Again hats. Diabetes, heart disease, obesity, not really the diseases I came to school to learn how to fight. Kenya, do you hate fat people, rich people, or both? Not sure how to answer that. There are days I fit into both those categories. Stop it. You're not fat, Audrey said. Anyway, it's all still basic epidemiology. And the interventions are all about health education and health behaviors. Fundamentals are the same. You still get your practicum requirement checked off. And it's still the folks who have the least who are always affected. Yeah. And funny how those folks voted to repeal the Affordable Care Act. Still social justice, though. Is it? Don't know if I'm really giving it to the man by working in West Virginia, though. Seen coal miner's daughter? No, neither have I. But maybe we should stream it this weekend. Ethnographic research. Are there any people of color in West Virginia? Last time I saw data, not many, but there are people. And, well, white people are people too. <laughs>